Hey y'all, welcome back. It's another video on Ludico Arms channel. And today we are going to talk about this, can cannon. So, before we even get started, let's talk a little bit about who makes this. So, uh, this one is an old one. I bought it years and years and years ago. Made, supposedly made by X Products LLC except it's actually not according to what i've read it's made by a company called uh f5 manufacturing i believe you can google it up they're the original manufacturers of this and that's important because apparently x products had a ceo that uh made some troubling anti-gun statements and stuff and uh, I, as i understand it he's no longer the CEO of X products. But um, regardless, if you want to get one of these, I would uh, go on the internet there and look up uh, the F5. That's base, it's the same thing. Uh, but a much lower price than X products sells these for. So just know that I bought this before all of that controversy happened. I've had it for a long time and uh, this is obviously not a sponsored video because they wouldn't want me saying all that on here. But the whole point of this is this is actually a really fun thing. And so just go on and get you one from F5 if you want one. And let's get on with it. So what this is, is uh, the can cannon. And uh, it basically launches soda, soda cans full ones obviously 12 ounce cans soda beer what have you and uh it uses m200 standard military blank cartridges so uh these bad boys here and they're just if you open it up you'll see it's just a crimped cartridge and it's blank and it will this thing will launch a soda can about a hundred yards with the proper angle much like a uh much like an m203 grenade launcher it's all about uh, angle it, it's uh to get distance so anyways this thing fits on a standard ar lower so when you when you buy it it will basically be get these pins popped oh that one is is tough what the heck is going on with that hold on for some reason this pin is it's part of the reason why i'm using this as a uh the lower for this thing get this pin popped and I'll show you this lower has real real tight pin holes so okay there we go all right so that's just a standard AR lower we'll toss that off to the side so when you buy that buy this this is what you get and uh it's a pretty simple setup got an ar upper standard bolt carrier standard uh charging handle all this part is standard ar so then you got this barrel and you can unscrew this barrel off of here. So your barrel is basically a barrel nut. And then you've got this little piece of barrel here. It's, it's not really even a barrel. But it's vented. And it's capped. So when you load and fire your blank... All of the gas 
comes out in here and this is just a hollow tube and that will launch your can quite a distance so I'll be right back let me grab some other stuff that goes with this I should have had laid out already hold on okay so that's basically all there is to it you know you got the the, the tube that screws on you drop your can in there and then you load a blank round now the thing about this is the when you fire it, it does not cycle the action. You will have to pull the charging handle to the rear to load another round. But there are some built-in safety in this thing. So let me slap this lower back on here and show you. What I mean. All right, so what we're going to do here, we've got a magazine, and this is a blank cartridge here. Whoops. So if we load the blank in, so you'll see that that chambered that blank so if we were to pull the trigger now you get the big boom out the end of this and so we'll eject that pull the magazine out and I'll show you so what we have here we have one round of 300 blackout and one round a 556 five, so we'll put that in there and you'll see that it will it will not chamber that 556 five, round and it will not chamber fully chamber that 300 blackout round so unless you try really really hard there's no way you're going to accidentally load this thing with 556 five, or 300 blackout it will only load a blank cartridge and you can see there's quite a bit of difference between the blank the 300 blackout and the 556 five, so Now that we've talked about that, let's talk about what you can launch with this. So, a 12-ounce soda can, it will launch about 100 yards. And if you shoot a 12-ounce soda can out of this at a tree, it will put an indent in the tree and strip the bark off of it. I'll uh, take it outside and shoot it a couple of times here in a minute so you'll see what I'm talking about. But in addition, you can shoot virtually anything out of this. If it's around 12 ounces, let your mind go wild. You, you, you can shoot it out of it. Um, people have used these things to shoot t-shirts. They make all kinds of uh, different accessories for this. I've seen uh, grappling hooks, line throwers, um, big rubber... Uh, look like nerf footballs there's all kinds of things that you can shoot out of this and uh i'm trying right this second to find i've got some plastic things and i'm not sure what i did with them but there's all kinds of things tennis balls will fit in this uh and it'll launch them a good ways um Pretty much, I'm, I can't find, oh, here, here they are. This is what I'm looking for. So, here's the other thing. You can get this 
and this fits down in there like a soda can nice and tight so if you want to you can now you can launch virtually anything out of here uh your imagination is the only limit well that and you know you don't want to break the law obviously um obviously the feds would frown on you launching anything really cool out of this but pretty much if it'll fit in there it'll launch So now I gotta get a long screwdriver to get my wad back out of there. There we go. So when you uh you, if you use this, you can buy these from several places, or if you've got a 3D printer, you can just 3D print these. But basically that'll allow you to launch anything out of there. Theoretically, you could fill that up with 12 ounces of anything. Um, always keeping in mind that, you know, if you, if you make this a deadly weapon, then you, uh, definitely don't want to make a video of yourself launching anything out of this that, uh, could get you in trouble. But, uh, your, your imagination can be your guide. So, yeah, there's, uh. For instance, this is a uh, fake, this is an old World War II practice grenade. Oh look, it fits in the barrel. So, you know, you put your 12 ounce soda can in here though, and it's just like that scene from the movie uh, Maximum Overdrive, that Stephen King movie. If you're an ACDC fan back in the day, the movie that the Who Made Who sound was the soundtrack from, it's uh, just like the soda machine in that movie where it starts launching cans and killing people. definitely don't want to shoot something at people with this thing but it's a lot of fun and uh i've used it a bunch and one thing there there's actually some very useful things that you can do with this other than just launch soda cans and t-shirts and um pink or blue powder for baby reveals and all that kind of stuff and that is uh if you got to cut a tree down, you can actually use this to throw a line up into the tree and use the line to drag a cable up into the tree to pull the tree over. Say you got a tree that's leaning towards your house and you want to pull it the other way with a winch. This right here will get your uh, initial rope up in the tree so you can drag a cable up there. And I know because I've done it. That's one of the very first things I did with this when I got it. So... Anyways, if you uh, if you're interested in getting one, like I said, I would uh, I would look at F5. I believe it's F5 Manufacturing. Um, if you Google it, uh, you can find them. And uh, I'm pretty sure that they're the they actually made these X product ones too. I do know that they're supposedly the original manufacturer, 
and these are cheaper on their website than they are on X Products website. And again, I'm not sponsored by either one of them. This is just a fun toy, and I thought it'd uh, be cool to make a video of it. So we'll uh, we'll cut to some video of uh, we'll take this outside and shoot a couple of cans out of it and show you how it works, and then uh, come back inside. So let's go do that. All right, y'all. So I'm going to show you how this can cannon works. So we've got our standard AR magazine here. And I got two blank rounds. We'll load in the magazine. Load that in here. And then what we want to do We're going to chamber around keeping your finger off of the trigger take your standard soda and put it in just like that so i'm going to aim this camera over towards this tree here and hopefully we can get a good view of what happens when we fire this thing hopefully I won't miss because I've only got two soda cans and this thing is not super aimable all right so here we go Alright, so that hit, as you can see. Now, one thing about this, because you're using blanks, it does not, you'll see here, there's still a, a blank cartridge in the magazine. It will not cycle the action. So you'll have to eject your blank cartridge back out. And these are standard military blanks. All right, so I got one more. And I'm going to try to get a video of what it looks like when this thing fires. So let me get this set up here. And hopefully. Yeah. All right. So we've got our can in there and our round chambered so that time i missed the tree and the can is actually out there in the woods somewhere so as you can see pretty fun to shoot all right so that was uh outside now we're back inside so um i just want to say this thing it's a blast uh you know yeah it's pretty much a toy but there are some th things that this could be very useful for um let your imagination be your uh only limiting factor but uh please if you have a really good imagination don't make a video of it keep that to yourself because i don't want you going to prison but it is uh it's a good time and uh as long as you're not dumb you know don't be one of them guys back in the day when youtube first came out and they got on there and, you know, showed off them shooting their Sten gun that they built from a parts kit. Uh, that's pretty stupid. Don't be a moron. But do enjoy one of these if you want to. And if you don't, well, 
or this decided you against getting one, well, there you go. Now you'll save some money. Either way, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a good one.